WhatsApp, uh, the parent company Meta, Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, they have reduced the minimum age to access WhatsApp in the UK from 16 to 13. They say it's in line with the rest of the world. Is yeah. this a good thing, Amy? Well, it's, it, I didn't even know it had an age limit, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I get texts and WhatsApps from my little nephew who's 12. I didn't realise. But um, the online safety bill obviously vowed to make UK online a safer place. Um, so this, this, this brings it in line with TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, Snapchat. So I can't really see all the hysteria because... So uh, a 13-year-old can go on all the other platforms, but just not WhatsApp. I mean, some, some adults shouldn't be accessing um, these apps. Let alone but young I think kids. It's the, it's the encrypted messages on WhatsApp. And one of the suggestions of the online safety bill was to remove the private chat encryption for an no, for no, certain no, no, ages. No, no. So maybe that's a way of making WhatsApp safe for kids. And also they're introducing, hopefully, they're in development of this nudity filter. So if something comes through to a child's phone and it can detect if it's an inappropriate image, which might have been handy for William. Let, let Rags, me tell you something, it? Emma, you might agree with this. Anytime the government says to you, we are going to take Take away some of your rights, some of your privacy for the greater good, because it's to benefit you. No, only that for is kids. always a massive red flag. Don't unencrypt the app and violate adults' no, privacy. No, not for everyone. So it's just so that children can use the app. Don't let children use the app. I have quite a strong view on this, and I just simply think that smartphones, and never mind this being in line with other apps, no, yeah. I don't think any young person should be on any of these social media sites. There is increasing evidence that shows that this is extremely bad for young people's mm. mental health, particularly when they're at a younger age and they're, they're basically being inducted into socialisation through this infinite space where they're being effectively taught to socialise by strangers, mm. by other adults out there. It's like having a, a window into your daughter's bedroom. But it's such um, a breeding ground for, for online bullying and, and bullying just mm. person to person at school can be horrific but with with whatsapp yeah. you can be added to a group you can be bullied feel completely isolated and then they kick you out of the group everybody needs to be in this together because it's not it's it's not going to work if it's just one parent stops their child from doing it because you need all of the parents to do it so that it eliminates the the overall pressure to be involved in these sorts but there of are things. So, many... so you need to ban you need to but... ban smartphones in secondary schools and primary gonna... schools. And it and it's simply not an argument that it's for communication because you can give the child a dumb phone. They do not need to be on these social media apps. It's bad for them. Okay. It's like giving them crack cocaine. 